If a criminal group can kill 3,000 of us in broad daylight and suspend the laws of physics and sell this to the people and launch illegal wars and kill over a million Iraqis and lie about WMDs in a premeditated fashion, none of us are safe because this same system is still in control whether we have George Bush, Barack Obama, or somebody like Rick Perry in three years in the White House. It's like we're living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked zeitgeist of life making grown men crawl On their knees begging please save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck They hit you from the back, no sweat Ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer like the great pretender Ask the second amendment why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truthers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the truthers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars real straight here Why does Obama Keep calling these fucking people ISIL. It's supposed to be, what, Islamic State in the Levant? Something like that? I think, uh, anybody in the military knows what the fuck is going on. Which is why they're not, they're getting out of the army and out of the military. And which is why they're not obeying certain orders, especially the mandatory vaccines. And why a lot of people are, a lot of people who are joining the military right now do not know this. We paved the way for ISIS. This was all set up. It was all a fucking plan from the get-go. Let's get that straight. What ISIS stands for is Islamic State, and we're going to leave it at that. They're a group of radical Islamists, okay? On top of that, they're also a group of mercenaries who could care less about any religion or anything except evil. The fucking devil. These are people that want to challenge God. And they're fucking getting one, too. Let me just show the video. Fuck what Obama says. Fuck you, Obama. Fuck what he says. He's the fucking head of them. That man should have been hanging the fucking very first day he was in office. Whatever. Islamic State. Gee, these guys. Look at these. They got Toyota pickup trucks, brand new, fucking Toyota Tundra, brand new fucking machine guns, fucking army tanks. Now look, all, everyone who's fought in Iraq, what you fought for was for this. Pretty much for nothing. If you don't know that by now. They really fucked you up. Everybody that had anything to do with this war has been affected in some way or another. Short term or long term. Everyone has been affected mentally, psychologically, for damn sure. That's for damn sure. And they could fucking care less about it because this is the plan. Seven countries in five years.
five countries, seven years, whatever. Oh, is Baghdad next? I don't know. They got to Crete. They got Fallujah. They got Mosul. They got all the fucking big cities. I don't know. Is Baghdad next? Now, you tell me if anybody knows someone in ISIS who wears Gucci watches or silver necklaces, Gucci chains and shit, drive around a Mercedes. How does ISIS got this kind of technology? It's just, it's so weird. You know, you got to ask yourself, how do these tapes that ISIS supposedly makes come out of the fucking DOD? You would think if it came out of anywhere, it would come out of a news agency. Group, ISIS, formerly known as Al-Qaeda in Iraq, and recently rebranded as the so-called Islamic State, is the stuff of nightmare. They are ruthless, fanatical killers on a mission. And that mission is to wipe out anyone, everyone, from any other religion or belief system, and to impose Sharia law. Mass executions, beheadings, and even crucifixions that they are committing as they work towards this goal Flaunted by badges of pride, videotaped and uploaded for the whole world to see. This is the new face of evil. Would it interest you to know who helped these psychopaths rise to power? Would it interest you to know who armed them? Might be a them, good idea. Trained them? Would it interest you to know why? This story makes a lot more sense if we start in the middle. So we'll begin with the overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Now, you'll notice Hillary Clinton keeps throwing this in there a lot. We came, we saw, he died. You're fucking next, bitch, so get in line. You're gonna vote for this fucking woman? This woman is a criminal. She should be fucking hung. And she's running for president? Hello? What the fuck is wrong with this country? Look what you've done to your fucking soldiers. Look what your little boy is doing. My fucking cousin wants to go in this shit? You got no idea where you're fucking going. You got no idea what they'll do to a young little woman like you. Your fucking drill sergeant, your soldiers... Uh, the sergeants that you are seeing, they will tell you anything to fucking get you in this army. Fuck them. You listen to the people that know you. This ain't the fucking place you want to be. Does this look like somewhere you want to fucking be? You think this is going to help with your future? The only thing it's going to help with is to shorten your fucking future. Look what the fucking... Look at the suicide rate. 22 a day. It's more than that now. You know why they're doing that? They keep you up more than 24 hours a day. Long fucking shifts to cycle. You don't get to carry no weapons on your fucking base. No, it's against the law. These people work. These are fucking Delta Force. This is the Mossad. MI6, Special Operations, they're on the same fucking military as you, comprende? They just got a little higher status, they could fucking care less about you, they killed SEAL Team 6, the biggest military fucking blow we've took in history since the fucking revolution. Oh, you didn't know that? Did you even know about Navy SEALs dying? 30 of them. Top fucking notch soldiers in our military. The best fucking team we had. Gone. In one fucking fell swoop.
They're going to make you a part of this. They're going to get you involved in this shit. You're going to be involved in practice drills that really are not fucking drills. You'll be set up to look like a fucking terrorist. Just like the rest of them. You got to be a complete moron to be going into this fucking army. Why do you think the fucking soldiers are leaving? You might, you, you think might you want to listen to somebody who knows what they're fucking talking about. And you're still not going to listen though. You're going to listen to the fucking morons telling you, it's okay, come on over. What the fuck are you seeing on the news? Hello? They're called recruiters. Hello? They will say anything to get you to go there. 40 grand? Are you fucking serious? 40 grand they're gonna give you, huh? You're gonna all fucking triple that in your school debt. You better smarten the fuck up. Let me fucking find out. Let me find out. You fucking unsigned? I don't give a fuck. Do what you gotta do. Dessert. Don't even show up. You know, you're not going. You don't go. That's it. You got no fucking idea. If you want me to get a little more fucking graphic than this, I will. I think I'm being pretty fucking conservative here. You've done zero research on this shit. Obviously, people you're talking to have no idea what the fuck is going on in the real world. If you think the military is going to help out your career or further along anything, you're sadly fucking mistaken. And by the way, if you're going to quit, if you're going to leave, whatever you do, don't do it alone. You make sure everyone fucking knows. And you try to go with a lot of people. Other than that, you just need to let a lot of people know. You make yourself well known. Go on a fucking news station or some shit. All he knows you don't go into the fucking office and say, uh, I'm quitting. That would be the end of you right there. Right in the fucking office. They'll shoot you in the back of the head. involvement was framed in humanitarian terms. The fact that the CIA was actively working to help the Libyan rebels topple Gaddafi was no secret. No. To help the Libyan rebels topple Gaddafi. And what the fuck is he doing in Syria right now? Helping the Syrian rebels topple Assad. There's two fucking countries left in this world that are not run by the Rothschilds and Rockefellers. It's Iran and Syria. And who are we fucking beefing with right now? What a coincidence! Iran and Syria. Hello? You better snap the fuck out of it. You better stay here and protect the fucking homeland. Because you're going to fucking need it. We need all the soldiers here at home. Shit's going down here. Not out there. Protect the border here. Not out there. I'm leaving this fucking video. I highly suggest you watch it. Highly, highly, highly suggest you watch it. And learn the real fucking story about these assholes. You ain't got a fucking clue what you're getting into. Or the airstrikes that Obama ordered against the Libyan government. However, little was said about the identity... The guy's the shaking his fucking hand. Of the Libyan rebels. And less than a week Not later, they're cutting his fucking head off. The leader of the Libyan rebels later admitted that his fighters included Al-Qaeda-linked jihadists who had fought against Allied troops in Iraq. And you know why? Because they were going good. They had Iraq. But Iraq, Saddam Hussein wanted to do things good. He was giving everybody shit that they wanted. He was helping his people. He was taking care of the fucking terrorists. That's why they fucking killed him. The only reason Bush invaded was for this reason and because they tried to kill his father back in 1991. Hello? Oh, you didn't know that? They almost killed our fucking president back then with a car bomb. 
Missed him by a fucking hair. Yeah, I don't think uh, W was too pleased about that. They, they stopped at Baghdad back then for a reason. So I'm going to leave the rest of the fucking video. Check the links below. Everybody get the fuck out of the military. Join a militia group or something. We need you here. We need everybody here. That's it for now. God bless and carry on.